Hi folks, it is Steve, the drummer at YouTube.com, and we're bringing yesterday's music into tomorrow. I'm going to take a second out and continue this uh, saga, this great uh, debate of rolling drums versus F-note drums in the electronic drumming uh, world here. And so I want to just take a second out and maybe break down a couple different components of the drum set and do, uh, do some, uh, some A-B comparisons. And so what, what I want to lead that off with is the hi-hats. Hi-hats are probably the, one of the most nuanced portions of anybody's drum kit. And I think for any uh, electronic drum manufacturer to get the hi-hats right is probably a big part of the equation as far as, as getting the, uh, the total electronic drumming package um, um, together. So I want to take a second now. We're going we're gonna to do some comparison, some AV comparison of some Roland uh, hi-hats, the Roland digital uh, uh, hi-hats versus the F-note uh, hi-hats. It's, wor it's worth noting um, before we get into it. Number one, uh, if you watch the drum tech videos, the guy that does the drumming in the drum tech videos is just an incredible player. I'm not. So uh, if you're looking for some kind of hot licks or whatever, that's not what I'm trying to do here. Basically, I'm just trying to, uh, to compare the, uh, the, two, the two different types of, uh, of uh, hi-hats and, and, uh, and, and give you, you some more information to make your decision on. Um, number two, uh, and I think this is pretty well known, but both, uh, both hi-hats have their own proprietary con uh, connector. The digital hi-hats, obviously, from Roland, have their, uh, um, their connector. It can't be used uh, with a module, the third-party module, other than Roland, and really only the Roland TD27 or the TD50. And the same is true of the, of the F-Note hi-hats as well. They've got the five-pin connector, and so you have to use one of the F-Note modules in order to make those work. Let's get into it. I'm going to play uh, some Roland hi hats, and I'm going to uh, play some F note hi hats, and we're going to do a little quick, uh, uh, quick comparison. So that was the uh, Roland hi hats, and before I play the uh, the F note hi hats, uh, I just want to cut, uh, say, restate a couple things here. Number one, obviously, as I said earlier, there's really just no hot licks here. I'm just trying to to do some foot splashes and some and just some basic uh, just just bashing away on the hi hats and doing some opens and close and and stuff like that, and just trying to give you guys a sense of the trigger tracking and all that stuff, uh, which I think honestly both of them have really really good uh, really good trigger tracking. I'll say too, in both these examples, I'm using just straight up module sounds. On the uh, Roland kit, it's, uh, I think it's just called Acoustic One. And uh, on, the, uh, on the F note kit, actually, I uh, recorded the hi hats. I recorded all the uh, F note parts back in February before I tore that drum kit down. So I'm thinking it was one of the 70s kits, either 70s coded or there was, I think it was something, uh, you know, there's a vintage rock kit or something along, along those lines. So I think that's where the samples uh, for all of these examples came from um, as far as the F-Note stuff is concerned. As far as recording quality, when I recorded the F-Note stuff before, like I say, I recorded it about uh, six or eight weeks ago and I no longer have the drum set. And so I think that maybe some of the, the levels between you know, one kit, one recording and the other don't match up 100%, but, but uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good enough that you kind of get the, uh, the gist of it. And also too, these are just being recorded straight from the module through an iRig into my iPad. No, uh, no fancy editing or anything along those lines. So with all that said, let's get to it. Let's listen to some uh, F-Note hi-hats and then we'll uh, come back with some conclusions.
So I'm going to take a second out and wrap this up and just kind of give you my conclusions um, uh, regarding the hi-hats, the, uh, the, uh, the, the F note versus the Roland. So I think both, both have pros and cons. And so I think generally speaking on the F note uh, um, cymbals, to my ear, especially on the cymbals, um, the samples are of a better quality, I th in my opinion. I, I feel like the F note um, hi-hats, and I don't know if it's necessarily evident in that particular recording, but I, I think that from my experience of using the F note hi-hats for about 18 months, I think that the, that the, the samples ha had a better quality to it. The, the cymbals had a more musical quality, and maybe, maybe a better way of saying it is it was more the sounds that I was looking for from the hi-hats and from the cymbals in general. Um, however, uh, I think that where Roland, in my mind, um, becomes really worthy here, um, number one is, th they're, they're obviously, the, the Roland TD-27 and the um, TD-50 both are, in my opinion, much more capable boxes, uh, modules, and you have a, a tremendous ability to, uh, to edit uh, things well beyond what you could possibly do in the uh, in the F note world, and so that's in my mind a plus. And then the the, the really the kicker for me, and what 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 really drives us home, and, and it's it's kind of an unknown right now because these these hi hats I just got them out of the box and I just started using them. But I have this perception that Roland equipment lasts better, and um, I my F note hi hats never broke. But I was concerned, the, the connector did, the, the five pin connector did, and I did have issues with that, but the symbols themselves never broke. And so I can't say that they broke, but I was always worried that they were going to. And so in my mind, F note um, hi-hats used great samples and they sounded much more like I would want my hi-hats to sound either on my acoustic drum set or on my electric drum set. However, I perceive the Roland gear to be more robust, more durable, and more editable. And and honestly, I think too, I, I, I feel I have a perception that it will blend better with music. These are my conclusions. I could be wrong. Time will tell. I just unboxed this drum set and started playing it fairly recently. Um, anyhow, give me your thoughts. And, and I'm going to follow up. I'm going to do uh, some some other F note versus uh, Roland comparisons. I know uh, in particular, I'm going to compare the snare drums. I'm going to compare the other symbols and I'm going to compare the toms and the kick drum. So check it out. Have a great day. Let's talk and we'll see you soon.